Hello guys, I hope everyone has gone to this week's query question. The first question like you will be accepting a string. So this string will basically have uh, a composition of integers and brackets. Okay, so you will be printing the sum of the product of integers with a count of brackets enclosed with it. So when you observe the explanation part, for example, when you take the first test case, you can see like this. Okay, before 10, there are four open brackets. So you will be calculating as 10 into 4. Sorry, before 10 will be 4 brackets, so we will be calculating 10 into 4. So, before 20, there are 3 open brackets. So, if it is an open bracket, you will be counting it. And if you are encountering a closed bracket, you will be uh, subtracting from the total count of brackets. So, that's the logic, basic logic behind this program. So, we will be implementing it in Python first, so that you can understand the logic much better. Okay. So, for this... First, I'm gonna get the string. So let us say like s is equal to input dot strip, and uh, I'm gonna declare some variables now. So I'm gonna initialize it. So c will be used to count the uh, number of brackets, and a and b will be used to uh, what used for manipulating the sum. So I'm gonna initialize these values to zero. So now I'm gonna iterate to the uh, string s so if I am I'm gonna encounter to a digit okay so it is like um, there are also double digit right uh, it's not like only single digit number will be operating the particular side you can you can also have a double digit number or triple digit number or whatever okay there, there is no constraint in it so if it is i dot is digit means um, now a will hold the integer that is if it either 10 1 or 20 or triple nine or whatever it will be holding the uh, integer okay so a will be used to calculate the whole integer okay so I'm gonna do like a into 10 plus order of 5 so since it is a string I'm gonna take the ASCII value of that particular character and subtracting minus 48 from it to get the a uh, real integer value okay so you can also give int of i instead of giving order of i minus 8 and in python you can give int of i but in c language you need obviously need of uh, what you need the ascii language stuff okay so if it is not so if it's not an integer it will be obviously an bracket right so now i'm gonna add up the multiplication right so i'm gonna multiply the integer with the number of uh, brackets and i'm gonna store it up in a variable called b and here i'm gonna again set the value of a as zero and if now the i is an open bracket i'm gonna increment the c value count okay there is a count so if it is a closed bracket I'm gonna decrement the C value so that's it so finally I'm gonna print the B value so this will hold the summation so let us not check okay so let me just check with the second test case I just copy these values place it over here and 40 okay so you are pretty much done so it's like uh, you will be for getting a list and you will be iterating to each character if it is in a digit until then like since there can be a double digit or triple digit or whatever so you will be calculating the value of the particular digit so far so if it is an other than digit means it will be obviously a bracket right so if it is a bracket you will be adding up the multiplication of the now uh, integer value and the number of brackets to a variable called b and if it is a bracket character open bracket character means you will be incrementing the c value else you will be decrementing the c value and finally you will be printing the summation so this is the what the so logic is so the same thing i'm gonna do it in c language so let me just change the compiler and i'm gonna change the commenting so these questions are pretty much easy when you just understand the logic lot the basic logic behind those stuff so when you just crack it up it's brilliant so first i'm gonna include the header files hash to h and uh, i need string dot h for string manipulations mm, yeah so i'm gonna declare the main function with return type as zero 
So here I'm gonna declare a, a character array. So let us say like one s one zero one and some variables called c is equal to zero and a is equal to zero and b is equal to zero. So the same thing. Okay. So and here n will hold the length of the particular string s. Okay. So now here if n is equal to zero and i is less than n and plus plus i'm gonna iterate to the string s so if s dot sorry s of i dot s digit s digit of s of i means if it is a digit means um i'm gonna see like a is equal to a into 10 plus um they like i can use int of over here to get the key value of the particular character i'm gonna and i'm gonna decrement 48 minus 48 from that to get the exact value of the particular integer so if it is not a digit means it will be obviously a open bracket so i'm gonna do plus is equal to, to c and i'm gonna assign a is equal to 0 again and if s of i is equal to equal to a uh, open bracket i'm gonna increment the count value else i'm gonna decrement it with one so finally out of this for loop i'm gonna print the b value Okay, I missed a semicolon somewhere else. error okay the four else oops I missed the semicolon over here okay. so the error is that we just almost forgot the main thing we didn't get the input from the user itself so how gonna we expect that yeah it's including an another oops another header file called as you can include c type of h okay so when it runs it runs perfectly so here i'm gonna copy this test case yeah pretty much done with the first program so the logic remains the same. I'm just I've just uh, changed the syntaxes according to C language. So let us now um, skip into the second one. So the second one is like the program has accepted an integer n and the program has print the nth value of the double jumbo sequence. So there's a sequence called the double jumbo sequence. So the sequence goes like this: the first number will be zero and the second number will be one, and the nth number will be like one into n minus one plus 2 plus n minus 2 term plus 3. So this will be like the the sequence of the next next number. Okay. So this is pretty much simple. So let us now implement. So for this I'm gonna get um, the n value from the user. So n input. And then I'm gonna declare a list with two elements 0 and 1. So I'm, then I'm gonna define a for loop from the second position to end the position and I'm gonna append the values like so since they have given like 1 into a of n minus 1 so I'm just gonna implement this so 1 into a of n sorry i minus 1 plus 2 into a of i minus 2 plus 3 yeah 
for let me just include some brackets to so that it follows the associate okay yeah so after that I'm gonna print the last element of this list okay so let us now check it out I'm gonna give the first test case so it is nine yeah so this part uh, now let us now implement the same with C language let me just change the compiler and the comment so I need the header file stdavo.h and declaring the main function and here I need um, the end value and declaring and array let us say like 101 so the value the values of the array let us take the first values as 0 and 1 so now I'm gonna iterate to a for loop so in i is equal to 2 and i is lesser than n and i plus plus so here a of i will be equal to 1 into a of i minus 1 plus 2 into a of i minus 2 plus 3 yeah. so after that i'm gonna print the last value okay so over here i'm gonna get the n value from the user pretty much done so let us now check yeah good so the second test case goes, goes so well so you can just check out with another random values you need so yeah we are done with the two questions so if you have any doubt you can reach out to our discussion forum thank you